What's up, King? It's Hunter from Wingman Plus, and in this video, I'm gonna take you through a start-to-finish Tinder transformation for one of our high-ticket clients. There are a lot of self-proclaimed dating photography services out there, and look, we are definitely not the cheapest, but we are by far the best. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an exclusive behind-the-scenes of the ultimate dating transformation experience we deliver for our high-ticket client. We are in beautiful Medellin, Colombia right now, and our client, Philip is about to arrive at the airport. So we're gonna go pick them up. By the way, I'm doing a massive giveaway. And somewhere in this video, I've hidden a secret Easter egg that's gonna tell you how you can double your chances of winning it. But that's enough about that. So buckle up, hit subscribe. This is a long one. So pop some popcorn and enjoy the video. Let's go head out to the airport and pick up our client. So we're gonna head over to the Zin store, stock up on some Zins, and then head over to the airport and pick up our client there. Obviously, guys, you're flying out to Columbia to work with us one on one. Gonna give you that VIP treatment. You know, pick you up at the airport, dab you up, sauce you an upper decky of a Zin. Dude, so they only have four Zins left. Wiping them out. Columbia, you never know where your next Zin will come from. We got a bit of a scarcity mindset here on the Zins. This is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Obviously, guys, don't be Zinning out of control. Don't be a Zin Zin man. Just Zin responsibly, okay? Have you ever uh, tried a Zin before? Do you want one? Oh, this is. Thank you, buddy. Last one I got. What's going on, brother? Welcome to Columbia, buddy. Yeah, me too, man. Here we go. We'll get the pickup for you. Let's go. Ready to go. Yeah, you go. Chad, why don't you take the front seat and we'll hop in the back. I was gonna say, boys, if you have some chicks on Bumble too, we're gonna do the social proof dinner photo tomorrow at 7 p.m. Okay. in Provenza. So if you have any like leads, mm -hmm. it might be a good opportunity to like convert that into a date tomorrow, bring her out to the dinner photo. Okay. And then you can just kind of hit Provenza with her after. It should be an easy pull, to be honest. They can go to a Provenza dinner. The, the restaurant turns into a club after our photo kind of thing. I saw that as like a dinner with the boys and like there'll be girls there too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm hitting up girls, being like, hey, if you have any friends, like, come out. And so we have a nice crew going, and then from there, if we just want to dance with them for a bit, pull back to the crib, whatever, like, mm -hmm. the night is ours. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Zin is <laughs> hitting harder. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna D Zin. Oh, gotta D Zin for a moment. Give me a sec. You got that Zin on the table. Oh, you got water. Oh, yeah. I'm holding my breath, and I still had a hiccup. Do box breathing. What's that? Three seconds in, hold it for three seconds. Yep. Three seconds out. Dude, my friend is a seal, dude. He, he, the training that those guys do. All right. All right. So tomorrow, Philip, what we're going to do is at each location, we're going to take like 100 photos of you. We're going to take some without sunglasses, some with sunglasses, some of you smiling, smirking, like more serious, <laughs> looking directly at the camera, looking away. The idea is most guys settle for like, oh, I guess this is the photo that got taken of me. That's not what we do here. We give you 100 opportunities to look good. You're probably going to have like 20 usable photos and we're going to pick like the best fucking banger, edit that, throw it on profile. Works for me. At each location. So what I want to do for you is get you at the level of confidence for like posing, facial positions leading up to the shoot tomorrow. So a couple things, we've got all your outfits sorted now. Layering is a big part of it. Mm. And I, I've seen your style. I think you know most of this, it's just kind of review. But basically a layered outfit, you're going to have like your under layer, like a t-shirt. And then the over layer is going to be something kind of like long sleeve unbuttoned. Because a lot of guys make this mistake when they layer their outfit of like buttoning up all the buttons. They have a t-shirt under but they just like keep all the buttons up. Maybe they leave the top one undone, kind of like this. And you can kind of see right here. Look how much more of a virgin I look like right now totally. compared to just a few moments ago. You always want to have that over layer unbuttoned or unzipped. Second thing is sleeves. We usually try to avoid having the sleeves like buttoned up and done up all the way like this. In most cases, we want to do what I call the double fold. So every shirt has this seam mm -hmm. right here. What you want to do is basically do one fold directly along that seam. Yep. And then do a second fold right where the first fold ends. So make that your second seam and just fold again. 
women find the forearms very sexy. They're kind of vascular, like a penis, you know what I mean? So like there's some psychological like trigger there. What I always like to do though, is scrunch it up a little bit higher, but never past the elbow. You can see how it's almost like a push-up bra for your forearm, you know what I mean? Like really accentuates it. Mm. There's like really no like accentuation of the forearm there at all. You gotcha. Big difference. So that's how you kind of rock a layered outfit and boom. Yeah, perfect. Now you're gonna have some layered outfits that don't have like folded type sleeve, like think yep. of like a denim jacket, a suede jacket kind of thing. But same idea, all you have to do with those when they have like kind of that elastic sleeve, you just kind of bring them up your forearm, just kind of curl them up. We recorded a full tutorial on how to pose for your dating app photos with Phil, which you can find in the online dating cheat code. If you want instant access to this training, hit the link in the description of this video. Two chicks are trying to chill tonight. This girl is a little bit hotter, but she's trying to go on like an actual date, like grab dinner. But this girl is down to come watch Shrek. And she's got a bigger booty too. I know you can't tell based on that photo. I just can't be bothered for dinner dates, bro, when like just Shrek and chill on the table, you know? Mm -hmm. That girl is pretty. We've actually been out before too, and we had like a really good vibe. It's funny, Zach actually set up the double date. He got catfished. I was just tagging along, and my day was like really, really hot. And we bought pretty well. <laughs> you know, here's the thing, bro. You miss 100% of the double dates you don't take. Michael Scott said that one time, yeah. It's a natural fit. They all agree. Wait, I'll see it, buddy. Hold on. I think we can do a bit better. So let's, uh, let's check out your wardrobe, bro. And then we kind of know, like, when we're out at the mall, what we're looking for. Okay, so you got black slim fit jeans. Shorts for the photo shoot. Wear them between photos if you get too hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the purpose of photos, bro, like shorts just never I really look I just brought them just for the sake of it. 100%. Um, these are like kind of tightest shirts. Are they long sleeves? Yeah. These are, yeah, with the waffle fabric. These are good. Just like, that would be good for the dinner photo, I think. Red and white. Yeah, so yeah that would be probably our dinner fit. I got the shoes as well. <laughs> yeah. Just like, your outfits are like 10 out of 10, bro. What I think we need, kind of like a party shirt kind of vibe exactly. too. That's you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm feeling pretty pretty freaking good about your wardrobe, bro. Oh. I yeah. can try the whole fit on. Yeah, let's see what the tank color. It actually looks great with those pants too. Yeah? Yeah, that fits well. Now it's time to head over to the mall, grab Phil a couple more shirts, just to bring his wardrobe over the top to make sure he's looking his absolute best for the photos. How do you like the view? <laughs> Not bad, eh? I've seen worse. I've definitely... Hold that. Let's just try and switch the legs, see what that looks like. These photos look so good right now. Kids are natural. Let's do some serious over in that direction, yeah. Oh shit. Push your chin out like that. There you go. Looks really good on camera. Yeah, smile. Yeah, sick dude. Chad's legs look huge on my GoPro, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wide angle. <laughs> Welcome to the cigar lounge. Yes, dude. So good. This wow. is money, bro. This is the shot. Holy, bro. Yeah, those arms look huge on the GoPro, man. Do they? Yeah. Mm. Holy. They don't look like that in real life. Giga chat. Dude. <laughs> oh, that fit works, bro. This next photo we always take with an iPhone. It's a type of social proof photo that comes across way less formal than our dinner photos and just feels really in the moment and relaxed. And we find that throwing a quality iPhone picture into the mix is a really good way to assure women that you're not a catfish and that you actually look like your photos. There's a whole photo shoot going on behind us. That's nice, sick. dude, love it. Okay, just hold up a second. Yeah, there's hella NPCs. Oh shit. We out here. Dude. 
Throw that up on the bumble, eh? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Son of Odin. Yeah, dude. My favorite talent. See, I can airdrop you some photos. Just sure. while you wait for the edits, you can sure, throw something sure. up on the profile. How are you feeling so far about the shoot, bro? Great, man. Got some good content so far. Yeah, dude, I'm you pumped. look great on camera too. Such a natural, bro. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. How are you feeling about the shoot so far, Chad? It's going smoothly. Very nice. Actually, he's very comfortable in front of the camera, which is key. He is. The more comfortable you can be in front of the camera, the better the photos are going to look. That's the key. I feel like a lot of people say they're not photogenic and then they shoot with you and they're like, oh, maybe oh, I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to be pretty a certain look to not be able to take a photo well. What does that look usually look like? Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> like, but really ugly. Yeah, like butt fuck ugly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Anyways, ugly. Not like this guy. Not ugly. Six feet of steel and sex appeal. That's me. Quick fit check. Dude, that fit goes hard. I like the tank under too. Yeah. That's a nice touch. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing an extreme Tinder makeover today. Okay. Yeah, so we do like basically Tinder photo shoots for dudes. Really? Yeah, and women are 30% more likely to swipe if there's a cute dog photo. <laughs> so we're, we're asking around like, who's got the cutest dog in Medellin? And your name came up. How's this going, this is Josh. Josh. Nice to meet you, Josh. Nice to meet you. Let's go, Josh. Nice to meet you. So yeah, man, I know uh, Chad found a pretty good spot. Just a couple like stories down. So funny. Dude, that is a cute dog. Silver Fox. Yeah. They say the first rule of show business, never work with the animals or kids. I know. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Oh, Halfway there. We're breaking yeah. one of the time. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh, this is so good on camera, bro. He's a nice boy. Yes. Nice boy. <laughs> In there, Josh. He's a good boy. Hey, dog. That's a very good dog. Come on. Oh. 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 Wow. We have like too many good yeah, photos. Yeah, we here. got a lot. Josh, you're a lifesaver, bro. Thank you, man. That's it? Yeah. Chad Toth, dinner photo coming up here, buddy. Yeah, buddy. How are you feeling? Good. Feeling confident. We had a really good day shooting. I'm out here. We're out here. This is the big one. Dinner photo. The next photo is the dinner photo, and it's all about having fun. We fill a table full of delicious food, beautiful women, and great friends. The aim here is to genuinely give Phil a good time so that he's feeling relaxed and confident, not just for the photo, but for the rest of the evening. Tinder photo shoot, bro. If your photographer isn't doing this for you, fire them. Wingman applause, baby.
Uh, waiter, maybe I, because I know. This is amazing. This is a good spot, man, because uh, the business is going well. I want to start doing events where I bring out 20 guys a week and have like big events for them. So this would be like a perfect space to run that. Yeah. Thing. I can picture running yeah. boot camps here, too. Oh, dude, this would be yeah, crazy. It's a good spot. Yeah. Room, three-way bar. Wow. Yeah, that's a good spot. Of course, we can do that for you. Sure. Do you need a personal assistant and kind word for the other guest? Oh, it's your beauty. You want us in? Sir, I love these things, bro. I can't get it's them. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having us again. All right, we okay. roll. I need this to come back to life. It's like Colombian Red Bull. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of sugar. Yeah, you know, it helps the medicine go down, as they say. Mm. So, buddy, big club night tonight. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Couple chicas. <laughs> fucking ready, bro. What happened after the dinner photo, dude? Uh, went home with a chica. Now I'm fucking walking around like Conor McGregor, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah how many days was that load saving on for? At least Tuesday. That's like a spirit bomb. Dragon Ball Z it was. <laughs> you got more in you, bro? Oh yeah. Now, let's see what the chicas are up to tonight, buddy. Two options. The restaurant we're at has a sold out VIP party tonight. You can check that out and stay rather local. Mm. Or we can get into that club that I mentioned before. Booth, chicas, fucking send it. Bro, I'm like a... Uh kite dancing in a hurricane. You know okay. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go wherever you take it. I feel like the play is, we go mm -hmm. walk in there with all the chicas, mm -hmm. be a part of their booth. If it's shit, bro, we could always go back to Provenza close to home and just scoop up whatever's going on at that party. Anything that happens from now on is like extra. It's a good mindset to be in. <laughs> Chad, what are you feeling, buddy? <laughs> Most, baby. Good, it's fucking Sound good, Chad. Good. Cheers. Let's do it. This type of content is pretty different from the way we usually drop content. Obviously this channel has been a lot more serious, a lot of sit down videos, a lot of tutorials, but I want to start to open up and show you guys a lot more behind the scenes, a lot more candid content. In the next few weeks, we've got, what Chad, like six, seven, eight Tinder makeovers going down. Yeah, we're gonna be busy for the next month and a half. Gonna be super busy. We're gonna be filming and vlogging a lot more behind the scenes. I know this is a different direction, a different type of content, but let me know down in the comments of this video if you like this type of content, what your favorite part of the video is. This feedback really, really helps me create the best content for you guys. And again, I want to keep it informative where you're getting a ton of value out of it, but I also want it to be funny and entertaining. So let me know down in the comments if you like this video. If you hate it, leave some hate comments too. Guys, I got thick skin. I can take it, okay? We've got so much more exciting content on the way filming every single day for the next six weeks. We got Chad behind the camera. Guys, we're taking over not only YouTube, some really shady photographers out there we're gonna go to war with this year. We've got the fucking Wingman crew on board. This is the year of ride or die. You're either with Wingman Plus or you're against Wingman Plus, okay? Pick a freaking side, boys. Choose wisely, okay? Because our side has acai bowls. You wanna see, you wanna see loyalty? Like, if a girl ever asks you if you're loyal. Oh my gosh. Show her one of these, bro. Dude, you're one away from a free bowl. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna bankrupt this company. I'm gonna buy 10 bowls and get a free one every week. I'm gonna put them out of business with their free bowls. So guys, I want you guys to be that loyal to this channel. Comment down below what it would take to get that type of loyalty from you. What do you wanna see in the content? You like the comedy stuff? You like the tutorials? You want me to start an OnlyFans? Like, whatever you want i want to make the best content possible for you this year and i've got a really 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 big surprise coming in the next few weeks so make sure you hit the subscribe button we're literally gonna take this channel to new heights oh, closer that way yeah
that. Actually, can you guys come more towards me? Yeah, good. Let's try that. So we'll have to keep your face a little more open to camera. Yeah, because you got the you know? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that man? He's got, he's got the form. Oh, okay. covered up form. This is the one time he you want to drop your gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> But look at your arms, dude. That's crazy. Try not to move back too much. I think it's my right hand. I'll keep my right hand off. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Let's see what it looks like. Let's try it, see what it looks oh, like. Maybe he should be here. I did, I did kind of envision like what Philip was saying too, of him having like one arm kind of like flexing, the other arm like jabbing, hyper extend. Yeah, like that. Please. Yeah, that, that could be pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool, that undercut. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, good. Hold up, take a little break though. You guys are really going at it, eh? Oh, yeah. It's fucking hard, bro. That's the hardest sparring I've ever done. <laughs> People are probably like looking out there like, he's a man. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. She's lucky. <laughs> yeah, we'll try some of that too. These are looking These really are good, good yeah. man. Am I like smiling? Yeah, you're <laughs> like laughing <laughs> on here. Yeah, let's switch the teeth. Tank it up. Tank it up. Yeah, let's tank it up. <laughs> good rounds. I'm fucking exhausted, bro. Yeah. Did you dude. see that shot he landed? Dude, I'm amazed you're still standing. I was gonna call it there for a second. Yes. It's getting brutal. Referee Chad Tuh, <laughs> stepping in. Uh, lean into it a little more. Head up a little bit. Yeah, nice. Okay, keep the action going. Yeah, dude, those last couple. Why are you rattled? We can't do ice baths anymore, it's a new rule. So I said, fuck it. We went up the stairs, up to the pool. We put the ice bath up there. We started filling it up. We went and took a few shots up on the balcony and uh, come back down, the hose is gone. So it's tough being a gringo in Columbia sometimes, <laughs> but you know, it's worth it. <laughs> you think we can make it work though? Oh yeah, we're gonna make it work. We, okay. just, we got like half of it filled up, so. It'll be okay. How is it? That is refreshing. Yeah? Yeah. It's like barely any water in there. It's just all ice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you guys doing in there? Fucking getting, getting ready for the ice bath, bro. Oh, that, that steam feels good, bro. Yeah. All right, boys. It's a cold punch. Five minutes? Five minutes. All right. Chilling. That's fire content. Chill. <laughs> Tape pose, get the power. <laughs> it's a cold world. The key is breathing. Yeah. Because if you lose control of your breath, you're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you freak out and then you jump out like. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, you're good to go, buddy. Get in there, bro. How you doing? Great, dude. Let's go, baby. Breathe, I'll set the alarm. Holy shit. Oh, that's cool too. How's that look? It's sick. That's so <laughs> good, bro. Welcome back to another episode of Extreme Tinder Makeover, where we take average men and give them world-class online dating profiles. I'm your host, Hunter Lewis. Pound that subscribe button. Let's fucking go, baby. Oh, that's fucking cold. <laughs> it's like, I think Connor did everything. How are we at? How are we for time? 15 seconds. It's the longest 30 seconds of my life, bro. <laughs> oh, my dick's tiny. <laughs> Let's fucking go, baby. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. I feel like Elon Musk right now, dude. Ice in my veins, dude. Oh. Jumped into like a frozen mic. Never. The keys just breathe. <laughs> Average Canadian. <laughs> 
Just a frozen lake as a kid. <laughs> Fox pod. <laughs> 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 Baby. Let's go. Go. There you go. This is cold. It's five minutes. Ooh. Come on down for a makeover, boys. Columbia's calling. <laughs> well, it's sad, not all bro. this bad, though. Oh, how are you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good. Yeah. I feel high. Yeah, get in that steam room, buddy. I feel euphoric. Like, honestly, this... <laughs> you're almost from the Kansas Dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might get Raquel Pennington. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna be with one of her other friends who fights. Like a chick. Yeah, yeah, so walk me through, like, how the date went, bro. Yeah, yeah, so I, uh, I sent her an Uber, I brought her to my place, and then we walked to editing. We had a few cocktails there, sparks already. We, like, made out at the bar. And then uh, she was like, I want to dance. And I was like, I want to dance too. And so then we went to uh, Victoria. Love that place. And then we went back up to the top, had a few cocktails, went back to my place and clapped cheeks. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go, yeah. buddy. If you, uh, you think you can make it here for 12? Like, do you think that'll work for you? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Um, I'll show you some of the picks, how they're looking. Give you like a game plan for that. We'll see you soon, buddy. For sure. See you soon. Awesome. Peace, dude. Bye. Bro. Buddy clapped cheeks twice. Yeah, he did good. He's been here for like three days, man. <laughs> he did good. The guy's cleaning up. <laughs> That's good, because what we did like during a shoot is like, obviously Chad was taking photos, but I was taking iPhone photos behind the scenes. That way he could like refresh his profile in real time. That way he doesn't have to wait like a week for the edits to come in. And dude, his Bumble's on fire right now. Like he's matching rockets. His photos are insane right now. We're going through them, taking the top picks, and like, I'm pretty pumped to see him and uh, hear a little bit more about his experience, boys. If you guys want to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, have this ultimate transformation experience, stop wasting years and years of trial and error and start clapping cheeks instantly like Philip is. Mm -hmm. Click the link in the description, apply to work with us one-on-one. -on -one. Let's get your profile makeover going. And uh, man, I can't wait to see more of you guys out here clapping some cheeks. Or, you know, finding your wife if that's what you're looking forward to. We really do it all here at Wigman Plus. Yeah, wake up, all my stuff's gone. I was going through a couple of your photos this morning, bro. <laughs> They're looking really good if you want to take a peek. Sure. So just going through them, I haven't even gotten to the boxing picks yet. Spice them up a little Whoa. bit. I like that one. Yeah. Like I said, it's hard to fucking pick. Like there's bites. so many good ones. That's going to be a cool yeah, one for your I'm IG and a carousel. Whoa. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you look like a legit like male model. In there we go. Bro. And I think your profile might be so good that some girls are like, hey, are you a catfish? And that's where that iPhone photo comes in, where you're like, no, I have iPhone pics too. With the one with the coffee? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Fire. When the dog was like yawning, <laughs> I was like, oh my the, God. The dog's smiling at the camera. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't get better than that. And wow. dude, you look amazing too. That one's good. I actually really like this angle too. I like too. that one. Yeah. That one's good. I like that one. Before like... Nice smile. So that's what I mean. Like we have a smiling and not smiling version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, versus... Well, I had the same thing, but... Dude, look at us. <laughs> <laughs> Double beer it's elbows. Unstoppable. Yeah. Unstoppable. The dynamic duo. <laughs> that's sick. Yeah, so we've got no shortage of bangers. Like, that's awesome. Right there already. We have like two profiles just with these ones. That's cool, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, they turned out sick, bro. Like I said... Blown away, bro. That's, these are really good. Yeah, these are fire. Yeah. You like them? I fucking love them. Cool. Whenever you're ready. You guys are good? Yep. All right. So what's going on, Philip? How you doing, brother? Pretty good, man. How, how'd you enjoy the uh, trip so far? I loved it. It's, yeah. uh, I've only been here for a few days and already, uh, yeah, I'm really feeling it. It's yeah. a really fun time. Yeah, man, this city is fucking amazing, dude. Like the people are fucking great. How, how did you find out about us? Uh, I was following Wingman Plus for a little while, maybe like a year and a half. And, uh, you know, I just uh, used a few tips and tricks once in a while. And they were good tips and tricks. And like, uh, they helped me. So once I saw, uh, I saw an advertisement for uh, Hunter to do his one-on-ones. Yeah. And I said, what the hell? Yeah. What the hell? Might as well take a chance, right? Yeah, and then we had our call. You invited me down here and I said, uh, let's make a trip of it. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm glad, dude. I, it's always cool to meet good people too, you know? Yeah. You obviously, the last couple of days, you've been out with uh, Hunter and, and our cameraman, Chad. Yeah. What was your experience like going out with them and you know, doing the photos. I feel like it's a well-oiled machine at this point. These guys are pros. They know exactly what they're doing. Um, there's a lot of preparation that went into it. 
uh, even when I was back in Montreal, we had a few calls. Uh, I got my um, I got my fits all, all lined up, and uh, I did some studying. Yeah, Hunter gave me some material to study, and uh, when I showed up down here, these guys took really good care of me, picked me up at the airport, yeah, and uh, we just uh, went out a few times, and uh, on shoot day everything was lined up. Nice. I just did what I was told. Nice, and, uh, preliminary pictures look really great. Yeah? Oh yeah. I, I know you guys are checking them out before. They look sick. Obviously we're gonna go and edit all the photos and go through and pick your best ones, but I heard Hunter gave you a few. Unedited pics, yeah. Unedited pics, right? And you mm -hmm. threw those up on your dating app? My Bumble is popping right now. It's popping? I can't even get through all of them. Like, I can show you, it's, it's ridiculous. Bro, when you have a solid like flow of matches, it's almost overwhelming. It is overwhelming. I can't even get to all of them. Yeah which is where you want to be, right? Based on your experience, w would you recommend this to somebody? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah? Why, yeah? why is that? Because it wasn't just like a business transaction where it was like, you know, take some pictures, okay, leave, here are, your, here are the pictures, here you go. Yeah. It was like an experience. Like I showed up, I, I made friends, yeah. we hung out, Fuck we that. went out. Um, you guys took real good care of me, man. I really appreciate it and it was yeah. really fun. Yeah, dude. I feel like I made some friends. So. Hell yeah, dude. No, I'm like, I'm excited, dude. Anytime you're welcome to come down, bro, you just hit me up, hit Hunter up. We're, we're more than happy. As long as we get the same treatment in Montreal. 100%. Bro. Did you have like any concerns going into it when you were coming down or? I mean, a little yeah. bit like, you know, sure. going to a foreign country. I met on the internet, but <clears throat> Hunter's a G. And like, we, we, had, we had a call. I had a few calls with Hunter. Immediately I was like, mm, is this legit? But like, I, I, I had no, no fear. No fear coming down here. Yeah, dude, sometimes you just gotta take a chance too, you know, and see, what, see what's behind the closed yeah, door. Based on the photos and everything, and obviously we still have to get you the edited photos, but like, how is your, your outlook in, on dating and confidence on dating? How, how has that changed? Has it changed? What does that look like for you? My, my whole thing was I was, doing, I was doing well with quantity. Okay. You know, I was going on dates and I was, I was doing okay. Yep. But uh, what I really wanted was to level up Quality wise, yep. I wanted, you know, a better looking woman. I think we're getting there now. We'll get there. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 dude, you're looking like a stud in these photos, bro. I'm surprised myself. Like, yeah. I think highly of myself, and I was like, Jesus, like, is yeah. this what I look like? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cool, bro. It's fucking cool. It is really cool. Seeing yourself on camera for the first time, like, so many guys never see themselves for what they could be. Totally. And, um, it's, it's eye-opening, bro, because like now you set that bar here, you know? Some guys, like they only, they'll never think, oh, I can never get past this. But once you level up, now, now your standards are it's here. Huge confidence boost. What would you say to people on the fence about doing a makeover with us? Just do it. Sometimes you just got to do it, you know? It's, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So if you want things to change, you got to do it. You just, uh, yeah. Jump in the fucking water, right? Just jump in the water. Yeah. I'd never been to South America too, so I mean, never been down here. I've never been to South America, so coming down here, it was real. It was like a trip. Like I, it was just a, a solo trip. Yeah. Yeah. Met some new people and uh, had a great time. In your past dating, you know, experience, what have you tried in the past? Like, have you tried anything like this before with taking photos? And if you had, like, what was your, you know, results like? I did. I paid for a photo shoot once. Um, but there was no preparation. Uh, I met the guy for the first time. On, on the site. day of shoot? I just, he sent me a text, you know, get a few uh, fits ready. I didn't know what fit to bring, so I just brought whatever clothes I thought looked good. Yeah. Um, and we just kind of went to a few spots around Montreal, took a few pics of me, and like, they were okay, but, you know, yeah. nothing special. What do you think, based on just seeing the photos that we took of you versus in the past? Night and day. Yeah. Because you guys know exactly what you're taking pictures for. And I feel like the photographer that I had hired in the past was just taking pictures of me for no reason. And we're taking pictures for a, a purpose. You yeah. Know, to look good on dating apps. Yeah. Yeah, man. When you have that intent behind, like anything in life, when you have intent, you know, you're going to accomplish what you're looking to accomplish a lot. Totally. A lot better, a lot more streamlined, you know. So... Obviously, bro, we went out, we did a bunch of photos that we had planned. You know, we have, a, we obviously have a game plan that we put together for you before you even get here. But besides like the, the plan that we had put together, you know, I know we did a couple other experiences 
tell me a little bit about that, bro. Like the the things that we did outside of it, you know? Yeah, man. Like I mean, we went out to dinner a few times. We uh, we went to the. I've been going to the gym with you guys during the day. Yeah. Um, we did the the whole ice bath and the the, the the like the Turkish the Turkish sauna thing. Yeah. That was cool. Uh, yeah, man. Even like uh, we're supposed to go on a hike and like, you know. Taking pictures is important, but like yeah. also just like being being a G is also important for dating. So like I feel like that the vibe of like building the guy up, not only picture wise and like the appearance, but who you are. Like the best way to get girl, the best pickup line is being a G, right? right. Yeah, a hundred percent. So I feel like it was a good experience to level up in in, in a certain way. Yeah, man, a hundred percent. It's like. It was really fun. Obviously, dating women is great, and you want to have that that experience and that uh, confidence. But also being with the guys, 100%. it's like a it's like that next level superpower. You know, like when you're a bun around a bunch of guys and you guys are all doing something together, accomplishing things, and yeah. bringing out the best of each other. It just kind of translates all to every part of your life, whether it's dating, business, fitness, anything, mental health, everything. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro, and you're a real one, which is why I was like, dude, we got to do this with Philip, bro. He's a fuck, he's the man, you know. And uh, I'm glad we were able to share that experience, bro. Even though we got the cops threatened to call on us, we had the cops. They they wanted to. They basically our apartment has let us do this ice ice bath hundreds of times for whatever reason. Yesterday, they wanted us to. They said that it was a new rule, so we went. We did it anyway because we want to make sure that we give you the best experience, bro. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, sometimes there's some hurdles in the way, but you just push through them and you know get the job done, bro. Yeah. That was fun, man. That was actually a lot of fun. It was really fun. Like and like to touch on the whole like guy thing. Like I, I went in that ice bath for, for a minute and yeah. I jumped out. Yeah. And I could like I was like, all these guys were doing it for like three minutes, five minutes, and I was like, I need to go back in there. <laughs> you went for round two, bro. I need to go back. In there. <laughs> you went round two. <laughs> yeah, dude. Only like bitching out. Yeah. Minutes, so I went back in and I did three. Yeah, you bring out the best of each other, and that's that's what it's all about, man. Like that's that's what it's all about, man. You know, we're we're here to bring out the best in you, bro, and you bring out the best in us. Chad went back in a second time, no? No, well, no. What, what happened was I wasn't gonna go in because Hunter wasn't, and then Hunter was like, "I'm gonna go in," and I was like, "Oh man, <laughs> yeah, now I have to go now in." But go like, in. so I, worth yeah, it. So I worth really it. didn't want to go in that ice bath, bro, and then I saw you guys do it, I'm like. Fuck it, I'm going commando on the way home. <laughs> it's camaraderie, man. Yeah, exactly. Camaraderie is important. Absolutely, bro. And I know obviously uh, Hunter helped you out with some of the pre-edited pictures, you know, to throw up, you know, quick. Um, tell us about your experience with like uh, setting up those dates. I know we kind of helped guide you a little bit with texting. I was constantly asking you guys for like riz lines. Like, like what do I say? Like, we, like yeah. how do I say this? Yeah. And, and uh, you guys definitely are... Uh, you know your shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know your shit. For sure. It worked out. Yeah. For sure. And listen, it doesn't stop here, man. Like, the moment you get back to Montreal, mm. like we're gonna, we're still here with you for life. You know, you have access to our online Discord community. For sure. That's why we have it, cause yeah. we like to see the fuck. Like, we don't want to just be the only guys, you know, going out and getting dates and having a good time. Like, we want you guys to do the same. So feel free, bro. Anytime. You know, you want to have access to, hey, how do I do this? Or, hey, I'm on a date here. Or, hey, what do I say here? That's what we have set up for you, bro. Like, don't forget that. And that's, that's, that's for real, man. Super fucking glad you made it out here, Philip. I think you're the fucking man. I'm excited to go out to Camino Therese with you in a few. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. I know we got to get a couple things for back home and uh, maybe grab a couple iPhone photos as well, for sure. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, safety sometimes coming down to Medellin in a country like people don't know and Unfortunately, it's such a beautiful country as you could see. It gets a bad rep sometimes. Yeah. You know, how did you feel about your safety? Like, did you ever feel like you were in any sort of danger? Or? No, I mean, like, I've had a bunch of friends who've come down here before, and they were all like, "Be careful, dude! Like, like the girls will rob you, and you know, guys, you know, the, like knives and whatever." I'm like, I haven't had any of that, any of that. I mean, I, you told me what to look out for and like what to watch out, so. I don't know. I, I feel like 100% uh, safe down here. It, yeah. It's a great country, man. As long as you have a good head on your shoulders, you'll be fine. Totally. As long as you're not going out and, you know, getting wasted and walking home at 3 in the morning and by yourself, exactly. you're fine. Exactly. I solo trip and I'm 100% uh, I'm confident walking around and yeah. Yeah. staying in the right neighborhoods, obviously, but 
all good. I got a, I got a question too. Yeah, cool. Something, something came to mind. Like, you obviously you did a f uh, pro photo shoot in the past. There's obviously like a lot of photographers out there. A lot of guys saying, "Hey, I'm I'm the go-to dating photographer." Like, why'd you decide to go for Wingman Plus? Why'd you want to work with us over you know any other options that were on the table? I mean, I feel like you're very relatable. I mean, you 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 know you from Canada. Like you, the way you speak, like you speak kind of like me. I'm like, uh, I don't know. I just uh, I like I said, I've used some of your tips and tricks before, like independently of like meeting you, and they all worked. And like, like you have gotten me laid before even meeting you. You know what I mean? So I feel like that was a good, a good reason. And uh, I don't know. You just, uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like uh, we almost had like a relationship before we even got on a call or anything like that. Exactly. Eh? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, Phil. Like, obviously, like paying all this money, flying out to Colombia, you know, foreign territory. You've never been here before to meet a bunch of guys you've never met in real life. Like. That's a leap of faith, bro. Like, for you, is this just about getting some photos, or was like, was there a bigger impact in life you were looking to get and maybe achieve throughout this experience? Yeah, man. I mean, like, I I work hard, you know. Like, I, I work hard. I have a kind of a stressful job. I go to the gym all the time, and uh, you know, the older you get, I'm not in my twenties anymore. Yeah. I'm a thirty year old dude, so like, I don't necessarily go clubbing as much, and I don't know. I feel like it was just like. One of those things, like you, you just, you gotta, you gotta enjoy yourself a little bit, you know. And I was like, you know what? I'll go out to Medellin, Six City, with some dudes that look cool, yep. and uh, get it done, business and pleasure, you know. Hundred percent, bro. We try to do both, you know what I mean? Like when we're shooting, we're pretty locked in, but we try to have fun throughout the entire process too. Oh. And bro, like I appreciate you taking a leap of faith and coming out all this way to work with us, bro. Like. I'm, I'm so pumped. Like, I feel like we're starting the month of March on such good momentum with your shoot, bro, because your energy is just so good. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you, like, putting faith in the process and saying, like, look, you guys are the experts. Like, just tell me what I need to do. And, bro, like, your results are fucking mind-blowing. Like, your, your photos aren't even edited yet, and I can already tell they're some of the best we've ever done. So I'm super pumped to send those over to you and see you crushing it back in Montreal, man. Like, this goes a lot farther than just the Columbia trip. Absolutely. Obviously we're getting shit done and we're having fun in the process, but bro, like the goal is to have you set up for life, man. That's the cool, th the cool thing about online dating is you set it up properly in the beginning and you're good forever. Like these photos will never age, bro. And I kind of know what to do now also, just like moving forward, you know? All the text game you're gonna have too, like bro, the girls in Montreal don't stand a chance, buddy. <laughs> Oh yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's all the question, all the questions I have. I think we like pretty much nailed everything on the board. Like, Philip, do you have any like last words, maybe for the camera? Like, any final thoughts? Give my boy Hunter a shot, man. He he knows what he's doing. He's a G, and uh, I he really brought me up a level. So if you guys want to level up, Hunter's your man. Boom. Buddy, you made it this far in the video. You didn't just skip through, stop watching. You made it to the very end. Dude, that's incredible. Less than 1% of people will make it this far in the video. So the fact that you did means that you're a real one. And I wanna recognize you, bro. So if you're watching this right now, you made it this far in the video, I want you to comment on this video with the word wingman. This year we're investing so much in the content. You can probably see the level and quality of the content has increased over the past couple of weeks. And that's the direction that this channel is going. We're putting so much work into these videos and appreciate the real ones like you who watch them until the very end. So comment the word wingman below this video so I can recognize you as one of the diehard number one fans of the channel. I really, really appreciate you making it this far in the video. And I wanna give you a reward for that. I'm gonna give away an extreme Tinder makeover to one lucky fan. And I'm gonna announce that giveaway in an upcoming video. In the next couple weeks, we're gonna drop an extreme Tinder makeover for a guy named Ness. And it is the most extreme transformation we've ever done on this channel. Now in that video, I'm gonna announce the contest for a free profile makeover, but I wanna give you the opportunity to double your odds of winning because you made it this far in the video. So here's your hint. In that video, there's gonna be an Easter egg at the very end and just like there's an Easter egg at the end of this video that you're watching right now. And in the end of that video, I'm gonna reveal a secret password that you can use to double your odds of winning an extreme profile makeover. So make sure you're locked in, subscribed to the channel, checking out all the content and 
watching until the very end because it's going to give you a leg up over every other guy who's entering this contest trying to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I cannot thank you enough for making it this far in the video. I really, really do appreciate it. So make sure you pound that like button, hit subscribe, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one, King. Peace.